Wednesday was National Housing Day and Prince Albert learned about a unique housing project in Winnipeg. Architect Stephen Kohlmeyer spoke about a 250-square-foot home he designed. At $350 per month, the home is designed to help people who can't otherwise afford a private home get a helping hand. People who live in rooming houses uh, actually have a very tough go of it often, so uh, to develop a, a project that, that could make life easier for the people who, who are in that market uh, I think has been very good for that part of, of our society. Kohlmeyer says his housing project is just one example of tackling housing issues in a creative way. You can expand your boundaries, your bounds, your expectations about what solutions are out there and have, have you know, some pretty neat things come out of it. So, so I think that, and that's true in any community that you can do that. So in one, one way, my more important message is that, you know, is that, that there are lots of solutions to be found. Uh, if we look carefully at what the current situation and problems and possibilities are. Students in attendance say they like the idea, especially since it's so difficult to find housing in the city. What i seen today was a good project. I'm in high vote of it. I know a lot of friends and a lot of people right now that are living with their brothers and sisters, their grandparents, their mom and dad. Um, they have a hard time getting ahead. I know my daughter is trying to step out into the world and needs affordable housing to better her education and you know some jobs they just don't pay enough for us to pay all the utilities, the rent, everything that comes with it. City Councilor and Chair of the City's Housing Committee Ted Zurichowski says Kohlmeyer's visit was good for the city. People need to hear first of all that their city knows there is a problem and in Prince Albert there's no use waiting for the bomb to go off because it has gone off there's no use waiting for it anymore we have a, a an attainable housing problem and they need to know that the city is listening and we're trying to take action to deal with it city staff say they're interested in the idea but that it's too soon to see if anything like it could happen in the city in Prince Albert I'm Andrew D'Souza